it's very easy to call a religious person stupid if you don't actually know the religious person, their background, and the nature of their intelligence. Many people are highly intelligent, but they're persuaded on certain points to accept stupid things. And some people who are highly intelligent come up with very intelligent reasons to believe very, well, untrue things. They're intelligent enough to make things fit, to seek out reasons to believe things. And sometimes that takes more intelligence than simply accepting the plain facts. But the plain facts aren't attractive. And what very often people have is a bias in terms of their development, how they were raised, or perhaps a conversion moment within their life, and they're convinced in some way, shape or form to accept certain things. It's not because they're stupid. That's, you know, incorrect. In fact, some people perhaps are stupid, but not all of them. Not, uh, you know, billions of people who happen to be believers in religion of some kind, uh, you know, some way, shape or form, a kind of religious belief or practice. But um, we're talking about a question of a level of credulity in some cases, set biases, especially if they're developmental, and of course you have to accept that people can be gullible. People can be gullible in what they do and what they say and what they accept. They can be gullible and they can also be incredibly intelligent. They can be a person who accepts a fundamentalist view, but they can also be a, a rocket scientist. They could be a medical doctor. They could be any number of things, but they also happen to be a person with a very strong belief in some way, shape or form. And the same is true in many ways in terms of politics, where some intelligent people have believed in some very stupid, very, very stupid things.